All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Red Dead 2. I'm here with my coffee. They're good boys, mostly. It's the mostly I'm scared about. Huh? Don't be. You'll be fine. You're one of us now. Oh, that's sweet. Hey. What the fuck, man? Karen, Karen. Hello. You heard from any O'Driscos? No, of course not. I've been here with you a lot. You do. You make sure you tell us, okay? Just gotta fuck with him immediately after Always that. Always good to see. You. Hey, Arthur. You seem in a good mood. I do. Well, anyway, don't let me spoil it. Sure, Arthur. Hey. Hey, Charles. Hey. What are you working on? Fire arrows. Interesting. Mm. Sweet. You give me a bottle of moonshine. I'll make you some. Moonshine. Mm -hmm. Whiskey do? No, it has to be moonshine. Whiskey ain't strong enough. Okay. Thank you. Alright, I'll look My for pleasure. it. I will give it a look. Speaking of requests that we gotta give to somebody, Mary Beth asked me for a pen. And I finally got it for her. I think she's over here. Hello, Arthur. Mary Beth. So, you ain't bored of this place yet? I guess not. All things considered, it ain't that bad. Sure. Oh, she gave me a wedding ring. Thank you. He was writing the speech. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to John. Big man Marston. John. Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. Oh god. I love them too. Alright, uh Okay, so where is the train heist? Abigail Jose is that Abigail? I think she's the only person in the gang with an A in her name, so Yeah it is, okay. And Jose is over there by Emerald Ranch, okay. So we'll go see what Abigail wants. Is about to eat. Thanks for the announcements, Bill. My bit, Arthur. That's Thank good. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> just, just sort of condescendingly, thank you, Bill. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you, and, well, you know his father's useless. Okay. Thank you. All right, where's the boy? On the other side of camp. You okay? Hey, Morgan. Keep those books full now. I'm trying. We need every cent we can get. Splendid, Mr. Morgan. I gotta say, loans seem like just the worst thing to do with money when you're in a situation like this. Most of the time, people can't pay them back. Come on, folks, time to eat. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? 
fishing. Sure, you're right. It's about time that you started to earn your keep. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, he's adorable. Not your horse. Okay. Boy. All right. Lift you on when you're ready. Well, there he is. Come here. All right, hold on tight now. All right, hold on tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Gotta get him a book. I think I might have picked one up at one point. I don't remember. Where should he stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Uh, where? Up oh, there. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. Yep, just right down here. It's a real beautiful just day. Just the water there? You mean? First, we need some bait. Cheese? I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. I think you've got a bite. Look. All right, I got it. Fish on the line. Pull him in. Come on, boy. You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear them out first before you try to reel them in. Look, Jack, it's a red fin pickerel. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. Some of those red flowers. All right. I'll be right back. Don't go too far now. There, there we go. Got him. Now well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. This one's a rock bass. Not bad. Mm. 
All right, give him another piece of cheese. I don't know where I keep getting the cheese from because I don't think I actually have any in the inventory. Things, I know. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. Yeah, I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. Try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. <laughs> huh. I had a high school See classmate that? who was obsessed with fishing. Everything he did, every anecdote he told, tried to involve what are you fishing. <laughs> I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000 for me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. And you have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. All right, we gotta tell Dutch. What? Get on up. Duchess. Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. 
It is. Easy. There you are. How you boys getting on? Great. We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey. You did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, um, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Okay, a little panicked, got, uh, got them okay, on our tail. You gonna freeze your acorns off dressed like that. Hope you're behaving yourself. No, of course I am. Just stay out of trouble. Yep. What was this? Home robbery, robbery Javier? Uh, let's see what he's got for us. Where is he? Oh, he's behind the tent. Hey, Javier. I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... Said it was really... Freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. They're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's all right. Sure, more or less. Evening. Arthur! How are you holding up? It's like a nightmare I can't wake up from. It will get better, Mrs. Adler. Sure. All right, Javier, lead the way. You know where we're going better than I do. Pretty damn hilarious that we just got cornered by some Pinkertons and now we're about to <laughs> rob a homestead. Just up the okay, hill. Okay, we're way. pretty close now. Follow me. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? <laughs> I 
How much sweet home Alabama is? It? Big place, right? Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. Not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. This desk could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Well, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And I got an idea. Follow me. All right. It's your job. All these trees. I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. It's also pretty dark out, so we have that element on our side as well. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. We weren't talking. Come on, let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Just stay quiet. Where you been now, dude? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I was gone for 10 minutes, I was. How can Holly gag all the now day now? Cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie, get all the jam! You shut your gumper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. You need to pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not Not really. Much. What are we doing, Javier? Okay. Take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? Let's see. Be quiet. Okay. Oh, no, that, not this rock, this rock. through the house.
think that's all of them. I don't see any more of them. All right, quick. Let's look for the stash. It's just a pile of crap. Uh, how do I get up here? Can't. Can't really jump up there. Oh, there's a ladder. I'm just blind. That's the problem. It has to be under here. There's no place else that could store it. Hello. Hey, Arthur. Give me a hand here. Yep, one second. Got some money. Not sure that was the whole thing, you but... want the money or not? Come on. Yeah. Told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good. <coughs> All right, we're good. I'm gonna loot uh, this house or. Yeah, I guess you can call it a house. So, what the hell? Bread chunk. Why would you ever take a bread chunk like that? Okay, vegetables. Anything of value? Premium cigarettes can't take those though. Oh my god, those horses. Money clip. Very good, very good. Let's take the cigarette card. Alright, time to go. Come on, boy. Alright, so. Two missions are down here. Honestly, I want to. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, we're gonna stop over at the hotel. And, yeah. and sleep for a bit. Or we might just put down camp and sleep. And then we're gonna go help Hosea out first. $134. Lovely. Relax, relax. Yeah, snake right, ain't gonna hurt boy. you. The snake will not hurt you. Oh my god! Great. He just came out of nowhere. Oh my god. 
Come here, come here, boy. It's okay. I'm sorry. I did not mean for that to happen. Ride you through the water a little bit to get you cleaned up. Well, you know what? Because we're r still riding the Valentine, but let's uh, let's let's oh, shit. Let's pay off the bounty, at least for uh, what is this? West Elizabeth, New Hanover. And then I think we'll ride off to see Hosea. Yep. Yeah. it gets into the hundreds the bounties uh the bounties they they just kind of start coming after you like relentlessly i'm not too sure on that but i think that's what happens trains here folks prepare to board Good to see you again, mister. Costing you a pretty penny to repay your debt. Yeah, 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 shut up. Thank you for your help. All right, now where's Hosea? Hosea's right near Emerald Ranch. We're going around. Easy. Oh god. Really? I came in for losing. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Whoa. What? Oh my god. Easy, easy. Okay. Yep. Ta ta na hey. I'm sorry, boy. You okay, boy? None, none of that. Don't want any part in that. Why doesn't it keep my shotgun there? Jesus. Yeah. Like a man don't have the right to just ride around with his guns out anymore. in the heartlands. Now, 
that a wagon? Was that a wagon? Yeah, it's a wagon. I thought it was a buffalo. Jose, where are you at? This barn over here? How you doing, boy? It's an interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. <laughs> Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. But I know how to get things done efficiently. Mr. Look Matthews? Why would I lie about this? Partner. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay, I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Uh, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Karma de Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. By marriage. He, he really wants you to know that. Is he that bad of a person? All right, Jose. Really? really? Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly, you've recovered from your bear encounter. <laughs> Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Yeah, you're right about that. Ranch, how you feeling about things? How you feeling about things now? What things? This place. The gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us. Given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, a lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. Arthur. He does like to trot that one out. People <laughs> see that. Especially when they get a few years on them. Even someone like Micah. There's a couple of folks I wish had cut and run. Maybe they'd say the same about you. <laughs> You're a good boy. I mean, maybe they do, but I doubt it. 
Arthur's a good man. A couple of folks almost got cut, but didn't have to run for it. Hold up. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Why in God's name does it keep... Here we go. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. Maintain this for a second. Hold on. I'm coming, Hosea. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the plate. Anyone around? Someone on the porch. Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? I think nightfall. Let's wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. Two homesteads in a day. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet. I got you. Looks quiet and clear. Ain't no couch downstairs, so. Oh, shit. What's in here? Good, good, good. Close to that goal already. Take the carrot and the apple. Alright, up we go. Something dollars. And, uh, can I open this? There we go. Put your purse. Is that it? Like that. That's it.
Get on, dear boy. All right, Jose. There we go. All professional life. Problems the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece, and it's a good night's work. And I'm sure we can get it back to him in one piece. Not that hard. So what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. Nothing too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> exactly. How long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Oh, God. Even no. if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. No. I think we've learned our lesson there. And a few other lessons besides. Okay. Which is a good lesson. Just pull the coach into the barn there. There we go. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. <clears throat> Park that thing in here. Quickly. Yep. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. <clears throat> find any other coaches that need selling I'll see what I can offer you for them. but discreet you know of course goodbye gentlemen I'm heading back to camp I think you coming uh except Okay. Welcome home. Got a big take too. Can now sell stolen wagon wag wagons wagons to Seamus. It seems like I got something to give to somebody. Mr. Morgan. Yes. Mr. Morgan. Yes, sir. Mr. Pearson. Quite a country. Quite a country. You know, sometimes I'm glad I left the Navy. Too many men. <laughs> <laughs> Too many men. This world? Far more genteel, huh? <laughs> I never figured running in a bunch of outlaws would be the genteel option. <laughs> well, I've seen things, sir. I've seen terrible things. Yeah, I bet. Depending on when you was in the Civil War, and that's just not anything anybody wants to go there through. There she is. Hello, Arthur. Why have you got a guilty look? I don't. Okay. You're up to something, Miss Jackson. Sure thing. Alright. 
Let's uh boxing rats who keep their babies in their pockets. Boxing rats. God. Oh no. Not contribute. Ledger. 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 That's an interesting way of seeing things. Maybe we'll head over there one of these days, hmm? Yeah. Start a new life as kangaroo farmers. Kangaroo farmers, dear lord. Next in line is Arthur, and that's 300, so we're going to wait on that for the train heist. Give right. Arthur a rest. What am I inspecting? Oh! Pessimism around here. I hear you. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Whatever you say. Well, okay. Relax, Dutch. It's all right. Well, when we return in a moment, we're gonna uh, finally hit up that train robbery. So, thanks so much for watching. If you're on Twitch, uh, drop me a follow. On YouTube, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that goodness. And I will see you all in a moment. Mm -hmm.